Hey guys, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can view the audit log in Confluence. So let's get started. So in order to view the audit log in Confluence, it's pretty simple. You need to have the Confluence administration access. Once you will have that access, you can go to this cogwheel, which is settings. So click on the settings and in the settings section, you will find the audit log section or the link at the bottom here below the administration, right? So let me click on this and let's first understand what is the importance of audit logs. So audit logs are important if your Confluence administrator wants to keep track of what all changes have happened, say for example, permission changes, etc. So they will be logged and can be used for troubleshooting purpose. So that's the benefit of audit, audit log. Now on the free plan of Confluence, you won't be having audit logs, but in order to create this particular video and show you audit log, I'll move to the paid plan basically. So I'll just move it to 14 days paid plan. So I can try it for 14 days, which doesn't require any of the credit cards. So it's basically trial for 14 days. So you can do the same thing and we'll click on start trial. So let it finalize and click on done. So make sure after 14 days, you just disable or downgrade to the free plan, right? Let me see, right? So here now you can see that, close this. So in the audit log, now I can see what all logs are available in the audit log. So basically what was the event type, what change happened? So basically the event type was global administration and the change was global settings changed and the items that have been affected. So if you want to see more details, so click on show more and it will give you the details of what all details have changed, right? So this is the importance of audit logs and this helps the administrators basically go and understand what has happened at the user and group level. So for example, here the user got created, right? So there was a user that got created uh, and the user is active basically if there is an email. So all this information will be really helpful for a person who is administrating, uh, con administering Confluence to troubleshoot. Now in order to update the settings of the audit log, you can go to the settings here, right? And you can update few of the settings. Say for example, this basically you can specify the events that you need to keep, right? So you can specify the number of months, uh, the past number of months for which you want to keep the events, right? So you can update and change that accordingly as and when uh, as required by the organization or the Confluence instance. You can export the audit log. So rather than looking at the audit logs here, we can simply click on export and it will export the CSV file. So if you see in the left hand corner, a CSV file has been exported. If I open this, you will see all the audit logs have been exported and visible on this particular, in this particular CSV file. So all those details will come here in the CSV file when you will export, right? Now at the bottom, if you want to move to the next page, you can navigate to the next page and get the details about the audit log. All right. So that's pretty much it about the audit logs. There is nothing complex as such. Basically, just wanted to show you how you can enable the audit log if you are on the free trial and why the audit logs are helpful, right? So it gives you a history of changes. Basically, if you see just here, it gives the history of changes and very useful when you are tracking the details about the permissions, settings, etc and if there are any add-on changes, right? So that's the significance of audit logs. In free plan, you won't get it, but if you're an organization, you want to switch to the paid plan, you will get audit log, which will be helpful in troubleshooting the Confluence instance. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. Thank you very much for watching.